Unit 7, Week 2, question number 2, what was the red scare? It's fear of the color red. No, fear of socialism, communism, anarchy, European ideas, things that led to the horrors of the war. Americans are xenophobic. They're anti-European, anti-immigrant, anti-everything. Uh, essentially, it breaks down to they're afraid of the communist socialist revolution that's taken over in Russia. They're afraid of anarchist ideas coming out of Eastern Europe. And there have been threats of bombs, and there's a hysteria still coming from this anti-German period of after World War I, translates into an anti-communist, anti-foreign paranoia. The Attorney General of the United States, A. Mitchell Palmer, goes on what were called Palmer raids, breaking up any suspected group, partly using the Espionage and Sedition Acts, but partly just as a justification to harass unions and foreigners. And he broke up, he wanted to run for president. He realized that Americans saw communism as a real and dangerous threat. So um, he named this guy J. Edgar Hoover, who's going to be a major person in the intelligence field, to head a new intelligence division of the Justice Department that's going to become this FBI eventually, um, to collect information about radicals. In November 1919, he arrested 700 people, mostly anarchists, and deported 43 undesirable aliens. In January 1920, the Justice Department broke in and deport and, along with local police, arrested 4,000 people in 33 cities. Eventually, 556 were shown to be communists or aliens and, de and deported. Riding this wave, he predicts on May 1st, International Day of the Worker, Labor Day for most of the world, not in the United States, because that would be a socialist connection. He says on May Day, May 1st, there's going to be massive paranoia and riots across the country. Nothing happened. He was overreacting, paranoid and a nut job, taking advantage of a, of a fear in America and a xenophobic um, tradition. As a result, these Palmer raids scare people, but he also broke up any group, not just of socialists, radicals, any group of union members, any group of European workers were blamed and in this paranoia and fear. And that's it for part one from some guy in an Aloha print shirt. <laughs>